Welcome to A Dad's Guide Podcast, episode number five. My name is Anthony Kim. So today, guys, we're going to talk about Diaper Changing Systems 101. Having a child in your life is a wonderful experience to most parents, but there are some things that might get in the way of that enjoyment. Often that thing that new parents struggle with, uh, especially the dads, is diaper changing. When I was uh, expecting my daughter Victoria to be born. Uh, A lot of guys were talking to me about how difficult diaper changing was. And there was all this doom and gloom about dealing with the poop, uh, the mess, how much time it took. But I just kind of took it in stride and thought, you know what, I'm just going to deal with it when my baby arrives and I'm just going to just try to try to do it the best I can. Once my daughter Victoria was born, I quickly found out that diaper changing is really not that big of a deal. The reason why I think that me and my wife found diaper changing to be relatively, uh, relatively efficient and easy process is because we implemented a system. We had a really efficient diaper changing table. We figured out how to do all the steps quickly and uh, in, in, in as little mess as possible. So. If you simply hate the idea of changing diapers, then I think this episode is for you. Now, the attitude towards diaper changing, I think is actually important in being a good parent. And the reason why I think that is this. If you simply hate changing diapers, then that negativity may color your overall view of having a kid. I actually knew a guy who didn't want to have a third child specifically because he couldn't deal with the whole diaper phase again which quite frankly is a little bit ridiculous. You want to get this whole diaper thing down to a science, to be efficient to the point where you don't find it hard anymore. This will, fee- this will free up time and mental energy to actually enjoy the rather great experience of having a child in your life. The last thing you want is to resent your kid because half your day is taking up changing her his or her diapers. So what I'm going to do now is read to you a chapter from my book, A Man's Guide to Newborn Babies, How to Thrive as a New Father When Baby Arrives. This chapter is called The One and a Half Minute Diaper Change. Diapers are seriously not even close to the hardest thing about having a baby. Changing diapers is the easiest thing in the world, and I will tell you why. Number one, it is quick and easy to do with an optimized system. Number two, babies stop crying once you change them. They totally love it. Diaper changes take approximately 1.5 minutes, as long as your diaper changing system is optimized. Over 15 diaper changes a day, this only adds up to 22.5 minutes per day. Compared to feeding and calming, this is a piece of cake. You need to have the baby wearing clothing that makes it easy to access her diapers. Loose pants and onesies that button up at the diaper level are good options. Pick the best, most diaper accessible clothing based on the seasons. Have a battle station well stocked with everything that you need to change diapers. Once you have everything optimized, yes, diapers take 1.5 minutes to change. The best thing about changing your kids' diapers is that they often calm right down once you do. They usually have a dirty diaper cry and a dirty diaper face that will clue you in as to the state of her undies. You will definitely get familiar with these cues in the first couple of weeks of your baby's life. This is what you need at your diaper change. This is what you need at your diaper station. Two dozen diapers ready to go and at arm's length. Another two dozen diapers in a storage location close by. A changing pad with linen on top. A half dozen baby towels close in hand. Baby wet naps. A pile of clean baby rags. Barrier cream. We use cream with zinc oxide in it. It soothes diaper rash. Baby safe moisturizer. Diaper pail with a foot pedal that operates the lid. Generic garbage bin and a laundry hamper within shooting distance. The kind of diaper that you buy is key to your success. We tried many brand name products and also some weird naturopathic diapers. By far, we like diapers with an indicator strip. When dry, the strip is yellow. When wet, it is blue. So when baby's bawling her head off, it is a very quick check to see if the diaper is the problem. We never considered linen diapers because they sounded like too much maintenance. I understand that there are environmental reasons for using these, so of course, go with your conscience. I figure that disposable diapers are not so bad to use because my my city composts all diapers. My baby's output is probably feeding a tree right now.
So the one and a half minute diaper change goes as follows. Step one, place baby on changing table, five seconds. Two, grab a new diaper and place it beside the baby, five seconds. Step three, strip off pants or unbutton onesie to access the diaper area, five seconds. Step four, unstrap the dirty diaper, mopping up as much as possible with the clean parts of the diaper, usually the front part of the diaper that covers the belly. 15 seconds. 5. Grab a wet nap and wipe up the mess. For girls, be careful not to contaminate her pee hole with stuff from the poo hole. That's 20 seconds. 6. Roll up the dirty diaper with the dirty wipes inside it and set it aside or shoot it into the diaper pail if within an arm's length. 5 seconds. Step 7. Put some barrier cream onto your baby's butt. 5 seconds. 8. Grab the new diaper and put it on. Ensure that the diaper rides high up the back so that no mess leaks out. 20 seconds. Step 9. Put the pants back on or rebutton the onesie. 10 seconds. Believe me, all guys get really good at this really fast. Don't bother trying to set speed records for this kind of thing. You want it to be safe and not make your baby uncomfortable. The point I'm trying to make is that diaper changes really do not take that long and are really easy to do as long as you have the right tools. Diaper resizing will occur from time to time. When poo breaches the diaper lining, then it is obviously time to increase the size of the diaper. This can happen in an orderly fashion or it can happen catastrophically. When it happens in an orderly manner, you will notice that the lining of the diaper, i.e. the last barrier of defense before the poo escapes, will start to stain with poo and perhaps there is some spotting on the baby's clothing as well. Then it's time to upsize. A catastrophic breach is an event where the lining gives way completely and soaks the baby's clothes, the crib, blankets, floor, and you with poo. Our first resizing from newborn to level one was triggered by a catastrophic breach. Victoria was in her crib at the time and basically soaked all of her bedding. Complete chaos. So that is the chapter on diapers and how to build your diaper changing battle station. The more optimized all of your baby care systems are, the more time you're going to spend just hanging out with your new family, uh, getting to know your newborn baby, really enjoying the, the just experience of being a new father. This is a good thing. It helps you become a better parent. So there are other systems that you want to be able to get sorted out, such as uh, in the last episode, we talked about sleep rotas, getting enough sleep for you and your wife to take care of the baby. Um, there's nursing systems, another topic that I cover extensively in my book, and calming systems, uh, which is actually the topic of the next episode. Calming a baby is really, really easy once you get enough practice with it. There are a rotation of techniques that you could use, that you could just employ to try to calm your baby. Calming is one of the main ways that a new dad can participate in childcare to take pressure off of his wife so that she can get a rest and for a dad to bond with his baby in a meaningful way. That's it for this episode. You could connect with me at my blog, adadsguide.org, or you could visit my Amazon author page. The link's in the show notes. If you enjoyed this episode, then I encourage you to check out my book, A Man's Guide to Newborn Babies, available on Amazon Kindle and iTunes as an ebook or in paperback on Amazon.com. So this is Anthony Kim signing off, reminding you to strive to be a great dad right from the start.